Hey everyone, welcome to Tea Time Tuesday Tea. Um, this week I am thrilled to be joined by one of my favorite people in the meetings and events industry. Stephanie Lynch is the business development account manager with Explore Edmonton. And Stephanie, I feel like you and I, though, have known each other for a heck of a lot longer than that, because um, you were with Marriott Hotels at one point, and, and I can't remember where you were before that. But do you want to just tell everyone a little bit about yourself, a little bit about your background? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, first of all, Leanne, I want to just say congratulations on your personal branding launch. I, I think it's just fantastic how you swiveled into something new and just you know, your energy and the passion that you have for, for personal branding. So, you know, thank you so much for inviting me here today and really a true congratulations to you. Oh, thank you. You're so sweet. Well, you're, you're one of the reasons I wanted to do this. Certainly there's a lot more people out there, um, but I'm so inspired by what you've done with your brand and I've watched you grow and and develop it over the years and it, it's a true inspiration and a lot of uh, destinations can can really find inspiration in the things that you've done to to kind of promote Edmonton. Yes so yeah I've been uh, now with uh, Explore Edmonton for all, coming up on five years um, so I do business development <laughs> for um, focusing on the auto market um, and uh, I just absolutely love it. I have a hotel background, but being able to sell your city as a whole and give options to means planners is just fantastic and connect them to the right people and really uh, show uh, showcase the city in a very, a very unique way. Well, you know, it all started kind of at the very beginning, you know, almost at the interview process. Um, we were talking about uh, running and just how much I loved running through the river valley and kind of that conversation just evolved um, into what can I do to really introduce myself into the Ottawa market? No one knows who I am. So what is that going to look like? And then um, we had a conversation with our, our video production company and this, our whole Stephanie's Diary series just came alive in the fact that I can be running around the city and telling others and showcasing what the city has to offer um, by, by doing my passion. So that was kind of one thing that really um, started it all off um, with my own personal branding and aligning that with with um, my my career and my passion uh, with the city so that uh, created such a buzz in the Ottawa market um, once I showed that first one um, people were asking like when's the next one coming and it was really interesting you know how meeting planners love to talk at events when my video would show everyone the room was silent so it was just a really really fun way to show the city and to create that buzz and to, it was just fun every new there's four in the series you can kind of look at my look at my LinkedIn um, to see them uh, attached there but um, it was just a it was just always a fun way to to connect um, with my with my planners you know as we're you know still kind of through this pandemic. Um, we have different things that are coming up, like we're um, a major sponsor for the event coming up in April. And I think it's really, again, it's going back to aligning, you know, what our city is focusing on right now, which I, I can't, I'll give it away if I tell you exactly kind of what we're looking at doing, but really aligning with that and also being solution focused um, to our meeting planner. So what solutions can we offer as a destination to those to those planners so it's uh and and kind of doing it in an engaging way especially when you're doing it virtually like how how can they experience your city and get your message across and be able to help them all at the same time so i guess it's for me, there's a lot of aspects. Um, I guess I'm really kind of humble. So 
always learning and, and working on myself, but I don't always, you know, necessarily see what others kind of see about me. I think it's going to be a, a real like soul searching exercise for me. Um, I have your, uh, your five pillars here printed out and, you know, going through those, those exercises and, you know, there's certain areas that, okay, no problem. I'm, I'm organized and I have my, my red hair and I, I love my outdoor healthy lifestyle. Um, but what other areas can I really amplify and how does that go with the role that I have and, and, you know, within my work family, but outside as well. So really, honestly, that soul searching piece, I think we've done that a lot through the, the, the pandemic, but I think it's like understanding, you know, now there's been no races over the past year and I've been golfing and, you know, cross country skiing and turning it, what I like to do into different things. So how do I now, how do we now share that and show that? And, and it's not just about running for me anymore. And what I like, you know, as one of my, one of my passions. So I think you attended PCM, PCMA in Victoria. They did yeah. a networking event and I think they asked everyone like, was it what skill? Like to ask other people like what their skill is or, and that, you know, so when you were kind of networking, you could go up to them and like, oh, you know, what is your skill? And I learned so much about other people. I learned like one of my clients loves to knit. Um, another one of my clients, um, has her own jewelry making business like just asking that one question it kind of was a conversational starter and also just it unveiled so much that you just don't even talk you don't normally talk to your clients about so last couple of years I've married the two together like I have more clients that are Facebook friends and than ever before because I, I thought about it a lot in a lot of different ways and you know I really am the same person whether I'm on LinkedIn or Facebook you're going to get the same Stephanie so yeah. um that's that's who I'm projecting so it, it took me a while though to come to that that point and and be okay with it and and now that I am I'm really happy because it a lot of my clients are relationship uh people and so you have that Facebook, that insight into their life. It just, you get to know so much more about them. So mm -hmm. when you start your own business, there's so much to learn. So it's been like, I decided in October um, that I wanted to do this. And then it's just been like full on learning every aspect. And there's no way to do it. Like there's no guide or book or you know to go through all those different steps right so it's just been a learning and right now I'm at the point where this launch is like marketing and I don't know much about social media and marketing and, and all those kinds of things so that's my next uh, area of learning like how do we do the launch and what does it look like and what does our social media marketing plan look like and how do we yeah how do we do that do we do some like decluttering videos throughout and all those kind of things so yeah it's been really fun to have that side passion and uh, and let it just flow and and enjoy every part of the part of it as you go along. So it's kind of serendipitous that we're doing this tea time on today, January nineteenth, because one of my favorite authors, um, Donald Miller, who wrote Building mm. a Free Brand. His new book yes. comes out today called Business. Oh, yes. I, oh, oh, you've got it. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> yeah, well, you mentioned it. And yeah, I read it uh, as well. And yeah, his new book, is it, Business I thought it was until simple. the spring, but it's today? Today. Oh, I think yeah. there's someone else I was thinking about that's coming out in the spring. Oh, yeah. No, I don't know. But yeah, so Business Made Simple comes out today. Okay. Um, so I'm going to pick it up this weekend. <laughs> yes. Yes. I'll have to take a look at that, but I, I have a little couple books here. Cause I, I, we, the, everything is figureable. So this is one that you mentioned I'm about halfway through. I'm trying to pace myself because it's so good. But yeah. one thing that I really like about it, there's where she mentions about create before you consume. Yeah. And I think that's really important right now, especially like working from home that kind of after work and I'm trying to focus more on that is uh, 
to really do things that put me towards my goals when I'm finished work, rather than it's so easy to sit on the couch and scroll through your phone and kind of get in that rut. So now it's like, okay, go work out and, you know, focus on other things. So um, yeah, just taking a lot of little things away from the book so far, but uh, I'm really enjoying it. You know, that create before you consume. Um, for anyone who is on Clubhouse, take those words to heart. Um, I don't know if you're on Clubhouse, Stephanie, but it is a rabbit hole of empty calories. Uh, a lot mm. of it is empty calories uh, in conversations where you're not learning a lot. And I think for me, that's when I, when I first got on Clubhouse a couple of weeks ago, I had to pivot very quickly to the create before consume. Mm. So to your point, I need to make sure that my big three goals for the day yeah. are checked off before I spend one minute in a clubhouse room. No, but I did want to share, and maybe you've read this, and I think it's something that really directs our team or a lot, and I think I've read it a couple of times, but it's essentialism. Um, it's hard to see. Um, oh, this essentialism. Essentialism by Greg uh, McEnroe. And basically it helps to guide in decision-making and I come back to it a lot. So basically when you're making a decision, if it's not a hell yeah, then it's probably a no. And I think that helps a lot in um, just knowing how to proceed with something. If it just doesn't feel like, yeah, I should be doing this, then maybe you just, you shouldn't be. So, um, it's definitely been a way to guide a lot of my decisions and coming back to that. I really do like going through that exercise. It, for years, it's been epic and seriously epic and things like that. And last year, last year was B. Um, so like just be present, be mindful and just being aware of that business. I would be the person that would sign up for race after race and just not ha not leaving space and time to to do other things and yeah. and uh, focus on my other goals but um this year it's kind of interesting and i didn't do this purposefully but it's belief so it's almost like that b has turned into believe okay um, so my word now is believe so it is it's a lot about like believing in myself a lot more um believing in all the hard work that i'm doing that is going to show results um, at some point and just really believing in that industry recovery. So it's believe in personal career, like all, all those aspects of my life that you just have to know that, uh, you know, everything's going to turn out for the best at the end this year. So. Well, besides uh, watching you and learning from you. <laughs> oh, and, you're uh, <laughs> Besides that, <laughs> um, I, I think it's just, you talked about authenticity and I, and I think that's really important that, you know, throughout everything we do, we need to be authentically you. I know it sounds a little cliche, but it's just, it's really true. Like really understand your brand, how it aligns with your company brand, um, make it fun, make it engaging, um, highlight what's new with your, your company. And really, I think what's led to a lot of our success is just the collaboration that we do, like the collaboration that we do internally with our team. And, you know, like, for example, the escape room, there's things that we do for activations that can take up to six months. So that like that plan ahead, really understanding what your end results mm -hmm. once you want to have, um, really focusing on that end result and just being open to figure out how to get there. Like, don't have the solution try to find the solution to to what you want to want to, want to portray so um it's a process i find depending on what you're doing in the planning and and just i think how you need to have fun with that process too right you know enjoy the journey as you're as you're trying to figure it all out and uh yeah it makes it it makes it exciting